forums, hire someone that knows what they're doing. Do not read forums, it will mind fuck you. I heard this uh, myth, you have to take 10, um, yeah, it's 10 grams of sugar per IU of insulin, which is complete fucking bullshit. You'll get fatter than fuck doing that. And a lot of uh, things I've heard is, don't take fats, don't take fats, you know, you'll get fat, you know, half carbs. First of all, fat stabilizes insulin. You need healthy fats. Obviously, don't go out, you know, eat a fucking burger or like a fucking pizza. Obviously, don't do that because insulin does feed your fat cells. So you don't want to do that. Insulin also holds a lot of water, holds a lot of water inside your muscles. You see I'm hella round right now, but I'm also holding some sub-Q water in my abdominal area. I'm kind of bloated, distended. That's normal. When you put on muscle, you're eating all these foods. You're going to be distended. You're going to have the fullness. That's fine. I mean, if you, if, you know, if you want to be a fucking lean guy year-round, you know, stick to physique. Just stay lean. Take Winstrol year-round. Um, that's what you got to do. But uh, as far as bodybuilding, you have an off-season where you're eating as much foods. As far as off-season, I'm going to be talking about anabolics, uh, steroids, and other episodes. As far as off-season, uh, the best results I've gotten is, is not using that much you know, steroids in off-season. I use like two compounds, you know, I've used, don't get me wrong, I've used six, seven compounds in off-season and have fucked my shit up. Um, but off-season, you're using your food, your food to fuel, you know, those compounds, you know what I mean? Off-season, when you're, I mean, pre-contest, pre-contest when you're cutting calories, when your calories are decreasing, 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 you need those drugs to keep the muscle on, to harden up. Your DHT drugs like Mastron and Probiron, you need those drugs to really get hard. Um, and Winstrol is also a DHT, but as far as off season, you know, you know, run, I'll be going over this again in other episodes, but don't run that much. You know, food is key. If you're, you know, if your test levels are elevated and you got some like DEC or EQ in there, you're going to put on muscle no matter what, as long as you're eating those calories. I would say seven meals a day, seven to eight meals a day. You always want to have your, you know, lots of protein, you know, two times, two times, I would say in off season, about two times of uh, your body weight in protein. And I would say carbs, you know, carbs are just, it's just a fucking carbs. Uh, it's just an energy source. So whatever you need, uh, you know, to get that actually, you know, to get the energy to fuel your workouts. But other than that, healthy fats is what you really, really want. Um, and like I said, I have healthy fats with every meal right now. I'm having about 30 to 40 grams of healthy fats per meal, 60 to 70 uh, protein per meal. And, uh, and carb wise, just doing like a cup of rice, but, uh, yeah, as far as that goes, so insulin, and like, let me, let me clarify something else with insulin, uh, that people really misinterpret, as you guys know, I had shoulder uh, surgery, I was out for 10 days, um, but it's coming back, I mean, so, lot, lots of people, lots of people think that, uh, insulin, when they say two IUs, a lot of insulin syringes say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thank God my say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. A lot of people will make the mistake and going 2 I use is 20 I use. That's how you get yourself in trouble. That's how you go hypoglycemic. That's why you got these idiots saying insulin's dangerous, insulin's dangerous. 2 I use is up to the 2 mark. You got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 5 lines. So 2 I use is 2 I use. It's very, very minimal. Peek. Right now I'm up to 14 I use. I start off at about 8 and slowly work myself up depending on how my body feels. Like I said, I use two different types of insulin because slower, I, I like slower in the morning because in the morning you're shooting it, you want to get these slow, slow nutrients absorbed with your meals. I mean, every two to three hours. So in the human log is actually in your system for five hours. So you're getting all these nutrients slowly triggering your muscle. Well, post-workout, you want to you want to hit it, you want to fucking, you know, you want to recover, you want to throw, you want to throw your insulin in your body, and you want to throw, you know, your protein, you want to throw your BCAs, you your creatine, and everything, I like to actually drink Vitargo during my workouts when I use insulin, uh, just because, you know, it's, when you're using insulin, everything's, everything's getting triggered in your muscle way faster, so that's what you really want, you want that, you want that spike, you want the fullness, you want to stay full, um, so that's when you use insulin, uh, post-workout, you just take the Humalog, it, Humalog's in, in and out of your system, I want to say it gets in about 20 minutes, it's probably out in about an hour and a half max, um, so I like to do like a, you know, branching amino acid shake, but I'm not here to talk about really nutrition, I'm here to talk about the dark side of bodybuilding, bodybuilding is very, very dark, um, you know, it really bothers me, and, and why I made this video 
is a lot of these bodybuilders, you know, they'll be like, oh, you know, you want to show, you know, what did you do differently? What did your trainer, oh, my trainer had me eat uh, 200 more carbs this, uh, this time around. That's why I've put on 20 pounds the last two years or 20 pounds in the last year on stage weight. You know, why don't you come out? You know, they better hope they never fucking interview me. Because if they do ever interview me, they're going to get the fuck, I'm going to fucking be like, <laughs> I up my T3, I up my, I up my anabolics, I up my insulin, I up my cardio. You know, I'm going to tell them the fucking truth. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to anyone. Um, nobody should be lied to. When you lie, you have to hide. You don't want to ever have to hide anything. Um, bodybuilding is, like I said, we all, we, do, we don't do this for the money. Nobody makes money in bodybuilding. You, it's how you market yourself. Um, none of us do it for the money. We do it because we love to get, we love to train. We love to get big. Most bodybuilders, actually all bodybuilders have insecurities. We like to have people look at us and be like, oh shit, man, you're, you're fucking swole. Or like they want to, you know, you want to turn heads. Everyone's insecure. I don't give a fuck who you are. Um, everybody is like that, um, no matter what. <laughs> We're not in for the money. We love, we're in here because we love it. Um, but there's a lot of things in bodybuilding that people fail to uh, people fail to come out. And I just always been really, really, really honest about it. Like I said, it's just when I see these interviews and these people giving false information. Oh yeah, I've, last prep I ate 100 grams of carbs just so I had 500 and I put on all this muscle. And people are like, oh my god, you know, let's eat more carbs, fucking more carbs. <laughs> It's a fucking joke how people lie to people like that. It's just like, it's very frustrating. But on these video series, I'm going to have a lot of series. So you're going to see, this is the first episode, guys. I haven't been on camera in a while. It's not going to be that great at first. Hopefully, I'll get a video editor. We're doing it in my room now. Um, I'm going over a little more off-season because I am in off-season right now. I'm 265 right now, 266. I'm going to try to get up to 285, 290 before I start coming down for a show. Um, I think I'm done for uh, with MPC for a while until I'm like... Looking at my body like I'm ready to turn pro and I'll just go into a national level show and take it. Um, but as far as my next show, I'm going to do a little Venice show down south. Joe Wheatley, great promoter. It's my first show 